We are able to classify new objects into categories, even though they are not exactly like things we've seen before. Thanks to Vladimir Vopnik, today's teachable machines can be trained to classify many things with near human accuracy. By representing information as clusters of points in a huge space, computers recognize speech, handwriting, faces, fraud, cancerous cells, and even rising stocks. But in the early 1960s, such machine learning tasks seemed far-fetched. Born in Uzbekistan, Vopnik started his studies at the Institute of Control Sciences in Moscow in 1961, just in time for the Khrushchev thaw and a dramatic cross-fertilization of Western and Eastern ideas. In Moscow was concentrated everything, the best scientists, the best artists, and everything flourished. It was the best seminars, several hundred of scientists on this seminar, and discussion was absolutely free in political incorrect form. You can discuss with academician whatever you want. One particular seminar described how the perceptron could be taught to classify objects it had never seen before. That was a model of cognition invented by Rosenblatt, professor of MIT. And everybody understood that there appears something new. For the first time, speculation of cognition became actually a mathematical model. And you can study this model. After that seminar, Vopnik and his colleague Alexei Chervenyankis developed a mathematical measure, the vopnik Chervenyankis or VC, dimension. It measures how complex a learning machine must be to accurately carve bits of data into the right number of categories, hundreds, thousands, millions if necessary. In math, what people are doing, they're trying to create the simplest model, like Einstein told, you should do as simple as possible, but not simple. Over the next few decades, the VC theory became as fundamental to the mathematical analysis of modern machine learning as Euclid's theories are to geometry. Ever since, Vopnik developed a variety of mathematical tools to measure and improve machine learning. In 1990, he moved to Bell Labs and, with Corina Cortez, developed a new type of learning machine, the Support Vector Machine, or SVM. For example, to distinguish male and female faces, an SVM might find that when it analyzes all lip shapes, male lips fall into this group and female lips into this group. Like hands coming together, a plane is set exactly between these points on the edges of their groups, making it more likely that future lips will be classified properly. Vopnik became a professor at Royal Holloway University of London in 1995 adding a job at NEC Labs in 2002 and an additional appointment at Columbia in 2003. His current research looks at new ways to understand complex information. Why humans realize faster than computers? Humans have a teacher. Teachers use poetic descriptions, say, play the piano like a butterfly, to help people grasp complex ideas more quickly. Vopnik showed that surprisingly, Machines can also use poetic descriptions. Eight, two-part creature, slightly slanted to the right. To discriminate digits. And it works perfectly. Then we realize that uh, everywhere, something like that. He thinks radical new approaches like this will be needed to figure out ever more complex problems with many variables or factors. In reality, when we looking in biology, when we looking in linguistics, so when looking at machine learning, we have hundreds of thousands of factors. From Wall Street to Main Street, Vopnik's theories are in use all around us. There's nothing better than a good theory for practical reasons. The 2012 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Computer and Cognitive Science was presented to Vladimir Vopnik for his fundamental contributions to our understanding of machine learning which allows computers to classify new data based on statistical models derived from earlier examples and for his invention of widely used machine learning techniques.